Hey everybody, welcome to Mod Podge with Kathy and Steve. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion, and today we are exploring our trinkets mold for Mod Podge. With our Mod Podge trinkets mold, you can make custom embellishments for crafts, jewelry, scrapbooking, and more. They can easily be painted or finished in a variety of ways. Our trinket mold has 23 different designs. It measures 3 and 3 quarter inch by 7 and a half inches. For reference, a quarter is about the size of our mushroom. A dime is about the size of our daisy. And the strawberry is the size of a penny. our mod melts we're going to use our mod melter our mod melt sticks and our trinkets mold and we're going to show you how to do that right now to make a mod melt just heat a mod melt stick in a mod melter or any high temp glue gun squeeze the trigger and fill the mold if you get any air bubbles just tap them with the tip of the mod melter You want to let your melt cool for about seven minutes. Then just pop them out of the mold. And decorate them any which way you'd like. If you have any excess melt around the design, just use detail scissors to trim away. Now that I show you how to make a Mod Melt, I'm going to show you how to paint one. Our detail paintbrush set for Mod Podge comes with 10 brushes. You'll get two flat paint brushes, and they're great for base coating your Mod Melts. You'll get five round brushes, and these are the most traditional. You'll get two liner brushes, these are great for doing highlighting, and one spotter, this is for your extra fine details. You can finish a Mod Melt in a variety of ways. You can use acrylic paint, pearl paint, metallic paints, glitter paints, loose glitter. You can seal your Mod Melts with Mod Podge. Love using the gloss formula. Sparkle's really fun to add extra sparkle. To add bling, use jewel glue and miniature rhinestones. I'm gonna show you how to paint the cupcake. First, add a little blue tape to the base just to secure it. I'm going to paint the cupcake liner with silver metallic paint using my flat brush. You can use a couple coats. Then for the cupcake part, I'm using some pearl orange paint. I'm going to add in some white pearl paint while the orange paint's wet, just to kind of give it a dreamsicle look. I'm adding some pink paint to the heart. You can do one or two coats. Once it's dry, top coat with Mod Podge. On the heart, I've added the Sparkle Mod Podge. On the orange, I'm using gloss. That'll just seal all that paint in. On the cupcake liner, I'm using silver glitter paint. I'm gonna add a rhinestone right there to the center using the Mod Podge as the glue. And there it is, all dried, ready for your craft project. Well, that was fun. Well, I can think of about a thousand things that I wanna make with those cute little tiny Mod Melts. And I'm thinking of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry too. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more Mod Podge videos. 
See you later.